Well, good morning. Thank you for being here for Workforce Flathead's Opportunity Fair. We're in week three, talking healthcare occupations. My name is Kathy with Flathead Valley Community College, and I'm the moderator today. A little bit of housekeeping before I introduce our special guests. All of these videos will live on the Job Service YouTube channel page, so feel free to share those with people you think might be interested or take a look at yourself. Um, it will also be on the Callis Bell Chambers workforceflathead.com site, so a couple different places where people can find these. I am excited to introduce Kim and Bonnie from Montana Veterans Home. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So Thanks what can you... Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> what can you tell us about the Veterans Home and what you might be looking for? Um, my name is Bonnie. I am the Recreation Supervisor here at the Montana Veterans Home. I'm just going to give you a little bit of history um, about the Veterans Home first to start off with. So we're 105 um, skilled nursing bed facility. We have 15 um, beds available for Alzheimer and dementia residents. And then we also have a 12 bed domiciliary, which is similar to like assisted living, retirement living. Um, and those are all for veterans, um, available for veterans. We are housed on 147 acres in Columbia Falls. Uh, we were originally called the Montana State Soldiers Home, which a lot of people still refer to this as the soldier's home. Um, and we serve honorably discharged veterans since 1896. Uh, we have buildings on campus um, that are part of the historical registry, including Old Main. And we have buildings that consist of designs from the Victoria, Queen Anne and Colonial Revival styles. Uh, there are multiple walking paths, viewing areas of the river, um, that are very busy and active during our warmer months, not only by our residents, but our staff and community members. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a wonderful supportive community here for our veterans in the valley. Um, the farm. We do, we do have we, a little farm. We do have a farm. We have a llama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? We need yeah, to have yeah. about the llama. <laughs> We have Paul the Llama. Um, yeah. Paul the Llama is on grounds. We actually have pigs, we have chickens, we have sheep. rabbits, sheep. And those are all um, in a fenced area, nice fenced area that the residents uh, here at the Veterans Home are able to go out and see. Sometimes they're able to pet them. They've seen them be sheared, all sorts of things. And Babies born. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. So that also is included on our grounds. Anything else about the No. We have a golf cart too. We can yeah. take Oh, a, yeah, a new golf cart. We take our residents for rides on golf carts. So that's fun too. Mm -hmm. That does sound like fun. That sounds perfect on a nice warm day. It's been perfect during COVID and yes, on nice warm days because we can get people out and on our grounds. When you have that big of a um, grounds, it's nice to be able to get the residents out and get their wind in their hair. So mm -hmm. we've really enjoyed that. Um, we have approximately 180 employees, um, and we are a state-owned and operated uh, facility. We're a 24-7 care facility, and um, we have excellent state benefits that include medical, um, dental, vision, you get prescriptions, and, and much more than that. Um, and that starts as soon as you take a part-time or a full-time job um, here at the Montana Veterans Home. You also learn, um, earn vacation leave, sick leave, paid holidays, and retirement um, upon being here at the Veterans Home. So those are a few perks that we have here. Um, I'm turning it over to Kim now. Okay, so I am the CNA supervisor, or one of the CNA supervisors. Um, we are looking for CNAs. We need the day shift, afternoon shift, and night shift. We have positions available. We start at $15 an hour. Um, and then for afternoons, there's a 50 cent differential, shift differential, and then another dollar for night shift. So 15, 15, 15, and 16. 
we are going to start a Right now we have a CNA class going. We're going to have another one starting in June and it is a paid class. Um, great opportunity, 12.33 an hour to learn and then be certified as a CNA. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds good. And, and really good to know about the shift differentials. Those can really make a difference. Yes, it does, it does. And if anybody out there is interested in either a CNA position or more questions about the CNA class, they can call me or John directly. And I'm just gonna give my phone number 897-6079. So if anybody has questions about those positions, please feel free to call us. Okay. I wrote that down. <laughs> I, get to, I get to talk about the other positions. So um, we do have other um, areas that we are needing employment and uh, we have housekeeping uh, position open. There's kitchen staff, which includes um, the cook and then the first food service worker. And then we have laundry also available. And now I get to talk about my area where I need somebody and that is in the recreation department. Uh, so we're the fun department. We get to do all the- They don't get things. to have all the fun though. <laughs> no. They share a little bit with you. Yes, we have fun too. Okay. We all have fun. It's a good place to work. It's a good environment. Um, you know, we want to make this place the residents um, home and our veterans home. Again, huge community support here for our veterans, which uh, makes it a nice place for employees to work too, as, as well as for the resident veterans here. So um, again, I have a position within the um, recreation. Also, we have a supervised smoking program here for our resident veterans that are smokers. And so we, we supervise those residents that do smoke and we have positions that help do that. So it's a matter of keeping our residents safe, yet allowing them personal choice and being able to do what they want to do. So mm -hmm. I am looking for somebody to fill a position, a part-time position for a resident activity slash smoke aid. And um, so part of it is helping with the supervised smoking. The other part of it is, like I said, running some of the fun stuff we talked about, you know, taking people for golf cart rides, helping initiate one-to-one um, -one interaction, taking people for walks around the grounds, reading to people, um, arts and crafts, getting them to bingo activities or music activities. And so it's just a really a nice diverse and a lot of different things going on um, with our residents. It's been a little challenging with COVID, but we're slowly getting out of that and getting back into um, some regular activities in a COVID fashion. So we're, we're doing that as well. And again, all of the positions um, are able to enhance the resident's quality of life, as well as, you know, just make this their home. And so we're really striving for uh, to hire people that are compassionate, care about others, you know, like to have fun and 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 make a home for our uh, veterans in the community of Columbia Falls and Kalispell and just the whole Flathead Valley. That sounds nice that you create a community for your residents, but it sounds like also amongst the staff too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Do you have some staff who've been there quite some time? Twenty-eight years. Oh wowza! Okay. Congratulations. Seventeen, 17 years. Okay. <laughs> That definitely a testament for our place, isn't it? Right. Yes. We have we have quite a few staff members that have quite a bit of longevity. Mm -hmm. And roots in the community. Yes. So for the recreation and smokers, aid, is that a day shift position or is that? It's, it is, um, the one I have open now is the 10 to uh, 10 a.m. to 6.30. So I would think it would more fall on an evening shift, but yes, it's kind of day evening shift position. And as well as, you know, having some flexibility within their schedule. Okay, yes. terrific. So what else would you like to share today? Anything in particular? 
Um, I think when you asked about the longevity, that was something we discussed. You know, it's a great place to work. Um, we've been here, both of us have had our time here, and that to me says a lot about the facility that we're working at because you're spending a lot of time here and to be able to enjoy a job that you want to stay here yeah. for that long. So I just really want to put that out there. Um, it is a great place to work. So, And I just think, I mean, I love our grounds. We have beautiful grounds and, um, you know, even during a break time going out for a walk, checking out the river. I know the residents, they love to watch in the spring when the river starts to rise and the, we've got a spot to do that and the overflow and staff go out there too. So um, a lot of history here. I think that's something too. Yeah, yeah. I got to go to a training there once a couple of years or so ago and the, the grounds were beautiful and someone came in and shared about the history and, and I had no idea it had such long roots, such deep yes. roots. So yeah. that was really special. Yeah. And it's an honor to be able to take care of veterans. And I don't think people always, uh, this community is fabulous to veterans. Yeah. And so working for that, um, working for the facility and caring for the veterans, you just see a lot of things that you wouldn't see in an other, in other nursing um, care facilities because of the opportunities of being caring for veterans. So it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like a, it sounds like a good opportunity uh, in a variety of ways. And I guess I'm curious, can I ask you a question? Yeah. <laughs> Another Please. question. Um, are there different career paths that people can take? If, can they get a foot in the door with certain things and then, you know, maybe develop an interest in another field? Are, do you know what I'm saying? That sort of yep. Yep. staff development? And there is some, I mean, some of it has been, I, I'm going to speak from what I see with nursing too, is um, like some folks come in and um, work as a CNA and they see that that's the path they want to take and then they go to school to be an LPN or an RN. Um, we have a gal in our facility right now. She started with a as a volunteer in, with me because I also supervise the volunteers. She started as a volunteer, went to a CNA. Now she's, um, an, is she an RN? She got her RN degree, I'm pretty sure. And she is um, doing you know, infection control and infection prevention. So starting off as a volunteer all the way up to an RN. So there is definitely possibilities for things as such, as well as in like the housekeeping department. I mean, it, it's, you may start off as a basic housekeeper, but there's always like a head housekeeper. And then within the well, kitchen, we, there's different positions as well. And then we've had people that have started in the kitchen and loved it so much and then wanted to be more involved with the residents that they've taken the CNA class and then become CNAs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think having staff development like that is so valuable. Yeah. You take care of your employees. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm also curious, you talked about you want people who like people. It sounds like if they're going to be working with your residents, uh, but are there other key things that you're looking for uh, in your applicants or? I think just people that enjoy, that have big hearts. You have to have a big heart to do this job. This isn't a job to come for a paycheck because it's a lot, you know, it's both mentally and physically challenging at times. Mm -hmm. um, you've always got to think outside of the box. Every day is a new day around here. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is a heart, having a big heart. Mm -hmm. And being flexible too, because every day is a new day. Yeah. So it's not like you're coming in, doing the same job all day long and you move on because just having the personal interactions with people, it's a different day every day. So yeah. flexibility um, and obviously dependability, reliability, you know, we need people that um, are going to come into work and want to be here and want to contribute and um, be part of our, our crew. Well, and I'm curious to, to apply for these positions. Do, can people be 16? Do they need to be 18? Where, where does that work? So a couple of the high schools have, um, oh, what do you call that? Well, they do the CNA class 
through the high school. Mm -hmm. So we do get some folks that have been as young as 16, um, 17, in order to use one of our lifts, they have to be 18, but they can always start 16 or 17 and just have somebody work with them. Um, so I, I think, you know, high school, you have to be mature enough mm -hmm. um, and responsible, but I think as young as 16. Okay. Well, that's terrific. So someone could, you know, get some experience in this field and, and decide if this is really what they wanted to do. We, we don't want the 16 year old supervise this movie, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, it's obvious from talking with you that you both really have your hearts in what you do. Um, we have a couple of minutes left. Is there anything else that you'd like to share before we finish up today? Just so we hope people. Um, Come, come look and at least check out our facility. Give us a call, let us know. Um, it's a great place to work. I don't really have anything else. It's been fun. Thank you for having yes. us. And <laughs> well, I look forward to hopefully meeting you both in person sometime. I, I'm grateful for your time today. And feel free to check this out on, it's going to go to workforceflathead.com, the Kalispell Chamber site, this particular video as well as Job Service Kalispell's YouTube channel. So feel free to share this with, with others. And we look forward to talking with you another day. All right, All right. thank you. Thanks, Kim and Bonnie. Take care. Yeah, thank you.